Hi everyone, this is Anthony from the RVers. <laughs> Today I'm going to give you a little behind the scenes look at how we do the voiceover for the segments in the TV show. I'm speaking to you right now from the voiceover studio in my home, and uh, we're all set up to go. I have this as kind of a semi-permanent setup, and uh, whenever I get a script from our writers, I read the voiceover, and then I send the audio file to our editors, who then use the voiceover file, a bunch of music, all the great footage that we have and the written content and lay out the segments that you end up seeing on the TV show. Today's voiceover is about National Parks, a segment that we're doing for season three of the RVers. Now, lucky for me, this isn't a very long one. It might be a long segment or one of the longer segments. I really don't know what the length is quite yet, but from a reading standpoint, it's only a two page script and I really only have about three paragraphs to read. It's really not very much. So we should be done pretty quickly. Having said that, let's give it a shot here. Step one, I take my regular glasses off and put on my readers so that I can actually see what the heck's going on. And, uh, and here we go. I've got it all queued up on the computer. I'm going to hit record and... Uh, actually, now that I've started talking into the thing, they're going to want to know what I'm doing. Uh, hi guys, I'm, uh, videoing this as well. So this could be interesting. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, national parks, the beauty and adventure up for grabs at some of our smaller national parks may receive less attention and they may indeed be less than one tenth of the size of some of their more famous counterparts, but in no way are they any less essential. In this spirit, we'll be looking at three of Peter and John's favorite national parks and the incredible hikes our veers can explore while they're visiting. I don't think that was so bad. I'm going to do it again, though. The beauty and adventure up for grabs at some of our smaller national parks may receive less attention. The beauty and adventure up for grabs at some of our smaller national parks may receive less attention. The beauty and adventure up for grabs. I try to read this so that it's as conversational for me, so it sounds natural coming out of my mouth. So if there's words or a certain flow that wouldn't normally be something I'd say, I kind of modify it. But um, our writers are really good. Both Andrew and Annette are really, really good, and they've got a good sense of how I read and how I speak. So they, I don't know whether they necessarily take that into consideration a great deal, but uh, it, it sure looks like they do. The beauty and adventure up for grabs at some of our smaller national parks may receive less attention, and they... No. Okay, I think I've beaten that to death. So what exactly does it feel like to plunge into the impossibly clear, crisp, and blue waters of the deepest lake in North America? Let's bring Tom in here to... Here to here. Oh, okay. Thanks. <laughs> Let's bring Tom in here to hear it firsthand. Let, let's bring Tom in here to hear it firsthand. Okay, a little insight here. I tend not to rehearse the reading. Um, I don't want to read it for the first time while I'm sitting at a desk and, and feel that that was the good one. And then I, you know, get down to the, the VO studio and start to you know, think about how I did it before. Like my eyes and my brain are processing words, maybe two or three ahead of what my mouth is actually saying. So I'm, I'm not really paying attention. There's processing going on there. It's going from my eyes to my brain, to my mouth. And there's some internal lag happening in my head. I don't know if that happens with everybody or just me. I might be a weirdo. That's not unusual. Uh, I mean, our editors, when they're going through this stuff, they might tell you, no, Anthony, you should probably rehearse.
I've got a paragraph to read, and uh, actually, it's really a short lines. Oh, yeah, right. It's the in here to here. This is where I get a little tripped up, right? <coughs> Let's bring Tom in here to hear it firsthand. You see, that's not bad. But when I first read it, let's bring Tom in here to hear what? <laughs> and that's where maybe saying it in advance probably wouldn't be a terrible thing. So what exactly does it feel like to plunge into the impossibly clear, crisp, and blue waters of the deepest lake in North America? Let's bring Tom in here to hear it firsthand. It's all right. I'm going to do it again. Let's bring Tom in here to hear it firsthand. Let's bring Tom in Let's here bring to Tom hear it firsthand. Let's bring Tom in here to hear it firsthand. Hmm? That wasn't bad. Okay, so honestly, that's it. And that's a very, very, very short one. So, I mean, there's there's not much to that one. Um, so when I have a situation like that where it's rather brief and I feel kind of okay with what I've done, I kind of go through it one more time. Um, and, and, you know, I think oftentimes that's probably the one they go with, but, um, not necessarily. We have a, a good variety here. So let's, let's take it from the top. National parks. Okay. I think we got it. So I'm going to stop the recording. Thanks guys. And, uh, I guess I'll conclude the video and I'd like to give you more behind the scenes like this in the future. And, uh, I think I'm going to record my voiceover sessions going forward. Uh, not so much for behind the scenes, cause I think this one probably covered that, but, uh, most assuredly for bloopers, because I tell you, there'll be lots. So, uh, we'll see you then.